Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to my review of this knife. Now, this is a triple-bladed trapper, right, by Steel Warrior. Now, Steel Warrior is just a brand that's owned by Frost Cutlery, right? Frost Cutlery, all their stuff is China-made, so this is, you know, an import from China. Uh, thus, the price, it's around $16. This was actually a requested review uh, one of my viewers in Italy wanted to see more of this knife, and uh, knife prices over there are extremely, extremely high. So that that's the it's it's not uncommon at all for European subscribers to ask about budget brands like this because uh, you know they're kind of they they're in a tough position over there. Like a case knife is extremely expensive in many countries outside the U.S. Alright, so this is a budget brand. The price on this is about $16 on US Amazon, and uh, there are two other models as well, which are a little more expensive. I will include the link to all three known models of this. Alright, but this is, it has three different blade shapes. You've got the clip point, the sheep's foot, and the spay blade. The steel on this is 440 stainless, and that steel does have certain benefits. Uh, number one, combined with the high polish, it's going to be very resistant to rust. All right, sharpness demo. First the sheep's foot. All right, and sorry for the background noise. I don't know if you can hear, uh, there's like a lawnmower, but here's the spay blade. Now I did touch these up, and I will discuss that I did touch them up before this demo. Yeah, the clip point. There you go. All right, let me talk about sharpening these. That right there is a Spyderco Sharp Maker. Now these came kind of sharp, but uh, you know, when you cut stuff in front of the camera, you kind of have to hold it at a little bit of an unnatural angle. And I was just getting pissed off trying to demo it. So I said, you know what, whatever. I'm just going to make them really sharp so that I don't have to like fiddle around with trying to hold it just right for the camera. So I did touch these up before that cutting demo. I basically did anywhere between 20 to 50 passes on each side of each blade uh, using the Spyderco Sharp Maker. And that brought it from like medium sharp to fairly sharp. And it only took like literally five minutes. And if I had wanted to spend, you know, an hour on it, you could make these like a scalpel. Yeah, another benefit of that 440 stainless that they're using, it's just ridiculously easy to get that extremely sharp in a short amount of time. Now, it might not retain that sharpness too long, but you know, it's a budget blade. At least you can at least you can sharpen it. You know what I'm saying? Now, some blades, some types of knife work better than others with the Spyderco Sharp Maker. Like thin flat blades like this, as well as Spyderco Delica, as well as uh, Victorinox Swiss Army knife, knife blades. Those all work incredibly well with the Sharp Maker. All right, I will include a link to the Sharp Maker. If you like those type of blades, you'll like the Sharp Maker. All right, you want to see how this uh, this edge interacts with a piece of wood? There you go. You know, most uh, if you want a whittling knife, usually a shorter blade uh, with a more forward tip is what you would use. Uh, but I just wanted to show it uh, doing something. Right, I consider a knife like this, I consider it to be in the same category as a Swiss Army knife. It's one knife with multiple tools. Now it just so happens that each tool on this is a blade, so each tool is a cutting tool. But because of the different blade shapes, each one is better or worse at different types of cutting. Right, for example, you know, the... Uh, the spay blade was originally used for castrating. Now they're more used just for skinning. 
right? The clip point you could also use for basically slicing through organic matter. But the more pointed tip on the clip point is better for starting cuts, uh, you know, if you have to just open, uh, let's say, a big bag of whatever. Right now, the sheep's foot blade with the more forward tip, better for draw cutting. Right, so it's one knife that has uh, three, right, three blades. Each one is a slightly different type of cutting tool. Right, here's just the uh, the sheep's foot taking out some cardboard. Now, I, I don't know why you would use it as a box cutter. You probably wouldn't, but again, I just wanted to show show it doing something. Right, so yeah, this is to me, it's a type of multifunction knife. A lot of people don't understand like that different blade shapes are better or worse at different types of cutting. Well, first of all, most people don't even know that there's different types of cutting, like non-knife people, you know, draw cut, push cut. They they wouldn't even really understand that. But that's okay because you're all knife people, so you do understand it. You know what I'm saying? All right, so back to the original subscriber's question. Is this a good budget blade? Eh, it's pretty good. I mean, I can't argue it with it for the low price. Uh, the steel sharpens up really nicely, I can tell you that. There's three different versions. This is actually the ugliest version, I think. The, uh, the composite yellow scales, they're kind of greenish. Uh, I saw they have like a buffalo horn scale version. That one looks the nicest. Uh, I'd probably get that if I had it to do over again, but I'll list all three. The other ones are currently $23. Still not bad. So yeah, I mean, it's a good budget brand. I would recommend touching it up. Check out the Sharp Maker. I hope you enjoyed seeing this blade. This has been We All Juggle Knives. I'm out.